Vratislava Promenade is a project that we worked on uh, starting in 2007. We actually did several variants of the project, um, working very closely with the master plan, um, very good basis uh, for our work actually. Uh, one of the key themes was to open up the city back to the river um, because much of Vraslav is actually facing away from the main part of the river. And this, of course, is what makes the center of the old city so attractive. So we wanted to try to capture some of that spirit in this district. Um, one of the things that's really, I think, fascinating about this project is not only is it a large mixed-use district, but it actually has the kinds of developers and investors behind it that can help it um, avoid some of the difficulties that we experienced here in Miastechko Vilanov. And one of the big advantages of having not only a Vantage uh, on the team, but also Impel behind, is that they really do understand not only how to keep places in order, but to keep them secure. And that kind of knowledge, I think, is really going to pay off and create a beautiful, integrated, harmonious community. The other things, though, that we drew very much from our experience in Mestechko Vilanov is that we're encouraging the developer to work with many different architects, and I know they're, they're going down that path. Uh, we're encouraging them to, to make sure that it is a, pro a property that accommodates many different people, uh, people of different income groups, that focus on a quality of life. And that quality of life is more of an urban quality of life, which I think is key to sustainability in the future. So I think it's a great opportunity in Vraslav to create this infill district rather than extending the city further, requiring enormous investment in infrastructure that actually you'll never really catch up to because you build that infrastructure, the city expands, the traffic increases, the costs increase, the maintenance increases, and by keeping things compact, you basically can, can short circuit that, that whole uh, uh, difficult cycle. So I think this project has an excellent foundation. Um, we worked, uh, I think, very well with both the developer and the city, um, respecting their objectives. Uh, the variant that was chosen is probably the most flexible one and flexibility is extremely important on large projects because the market will evolve over the next five to eight years and this will allow the developer to accommodate those adjustments in the market um, and that will also ensure the success of the project. I think one of the critical things in any of these large developments is that we actually have to make a very very attractive public realm. And we think this is critical as well in the, uh, in the development in, uh, in Vraslav, is the quality of those public spaces, the parks, and keeping in mind that it's about lifestyle, it's about enhancing people's lives. That's the bottom line. And without places like this, you can't really do it. It's not just square meters, it's these kinds of environments. One of the, the real assets that Vratislavia Promenades has is its uh, waterfront. Uh, we have a site in Brazil where Brazil Beaches are basically the main social spaces. They almost take, uh, take the role of streets or squares in, in European cities. And we were hoping that for, uh, for the promenade, we would also have that, that kind of energy, especially during the summertime on the waterfront that we see in Brazil, where people of all generations are out playing, enjoying themselves um, on the water's edge, uh, taking advantage of the freshness. Um, and also being near the water reminds you you're part of a much bigger ecosystem. So there's something special about that. And uh, as I said, we, we focus quite a bit on that in our projects in places like Brazil. Often, you know, it's, it's uh, difficult to have that opportunity here in, in uh, Poland, but uh, Vratislavia Promenade has this enormous asset. So we're really, really pleased that this project is now coming out of the ground. We hope someday to build a building there, um, but we're very, very happy with the way in which it's proceeding. And, uh, and it's really a, a first-rate team in a first-rate city that has um, the kind of ambition that I would like to see throughout Central Europe. Thank you.